Baxter Casino Guitars, we got Taylor's newest toy in the arsenal, the AD22E in my hands right here. I've played it. It plays great. It's tiny. I prefer that. But let's talk about the guitar real quickly, then I'll get into what I think about it. This is a their newest in the launch of their American Dream series. It's a 22. So what you have here on the top is a mahogany, solid, built in the USA, of course. Solid sapelli back and sides. Cling. Beautiful little piece here. It is brown and browner and browner and browner everywhere. You've got, of course, your pick guard. You got Workmanlike inlays is what they say in their copy, which I think is a fantastic way of saying sparse, sparse um, accoutrement dots. Now, not getting any fancy inlays, but you got the ES2. This is sort of the battle piece to the triple lot and double lot 15 by Martin. This is um, this is their foray into building you a USA V-class built embraced instrument at an affordable price range. Let's get to the cost. Let's cut the um, cut the diamonds out. At 15.99 is the price for this guitar. So that's about $200 more than the Martin, but this has electronics and it comes with an arrow case. So you gotta make that decision right there as well. We'll probably have a battle with these. If we could keep any Martins in stock right now, um, and we don't get to keep this much longer either. It goes away immediately almost. But if you want one, you have to let us know immediately on the pre-order ticket because these are gonna be hot guitars as well. Now let's break into what I think about it. Sonically, I love mahogany, so I'm always already biased to that. I think it's a beautiful piece. I like the size better than the 8027. To me, I, that was a great guitar. It's been a great seller, but um, I just can't play gigantic guitars that much unless it's a hummingbird. And then for some reason, that just I'm allowed to play it. But this it's a very this is a very comfortable guitar to play. It's easy. The the scale length's a little. It's 24 and 7 8 so it has a nice sort of spongy attack to it when you hit it. It's great for finger picking. It's great for arpeggiating. It's um it's really good for like a moderate to like medium hit strum. If you go really hard, it's gonna compress and bite you a bit. So it's not gonna be the loudest guitar you have in the market. So if you want that, look at the AD27s. If you want that sort of wood combo with a more presence and punch in your face. But if you want like a great sort of sitting and strumming and singing songwriter type of guitar, I, th I would take this one over the 27 just because of comfort. Um, and I don't hit super aggressively most of the time because I'm sensitive. So um, let's see, looks wise, I do like it. I like the sort of sparing, it's, I mean, it's right there in the Martin 15 series type of sparing look for it. The case alone though, sort of pumps me up. I love the arrow cases. If you haven't seen one, I know cases don't matter. A lot of times just go live in the closet, but if you're gigging, coffee shop, churching, performing player, you're gonna want that arrow case. It's better than a hard case. And it's better than the hard case that the, the, the 15 series comes with. That's sort of one of the lower scaled hard cases at Martin. Um, Man, I don't know, there's not much else to say about this thing except for you gotta go try one. You get your hands on one, comp it next to a 27. If you can, comp it next to a 15. See which one like sort of captures your heart. I'm gonna end up taking one of these home. I'm still waiting for my 811 though. So I got, I got all sorts of things I gotta buy. It's problematic. Hey, thanks for tuning in. Let us know your thoughts. Beautiful piece here. Thanks Taylor for making more guitars for us to play with and have fun with. Baxter Casino Guitars, signing out.